A reading from the book of Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You say, The Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, Is it my way that is unfair, or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all sins that he has committed. He shall surely live. He shall not die. Responsorial Psalm Remember your mercies, Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth are my frailties. Remember not. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, 
I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in a way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet, even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believed in him. What kind of future are you preparing for? Jesus encourages us to think, to think about the consequences of our choices, especially the choices and decisions that will count not just for now, but for eternity as well. The choices we make now will affect and shape our future, both our future on earth as well as in the life of the age to come. Jesus tells a simple story of two imperfect sons to illustrate the way of God's kingdom. The father amply provided for his son's food, lodging, and everything they needed. Everything the father had belonged to them as well. The father also rewarded his sons with excellent work in his own vineyard. He expected them to show him gratitude loyalty, and honor by doing their fair share of the daily work. The rebellious son told his father to, to his face that he would not work for him, but afterwards he changed his mind and did what his father commanded him. The good son said he would work for his father but did not follow through. He sought his own pleasure contrary to his father's will. Now, who was really the good son? Both sons disobeyed their father, but one repented and then did what the father told him. Jesus makes this point clear. Good intentions are not enough, and promises don't count unless they are performed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, change my heart that I may only desire what is pleasing to you. Help me to respect your will and give me the strength, joy, and perseverance to carry it out wholeheartedly. Amen. <music>